Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzers.com. On this video, I'm going to explain to you why Google Plus matters for SEO now. All right. So if you aren't familiar, if you aren't familiar with Google Plus, it's basically the Google social network. You know, as you see here, it's just it's their version of Facebook technically. Okay. So uh, here's basically what it's all about. So why does this matter for SEO now? Okay. And if you aren't familiar with what SEO is, SEO is the process of moving up Google for like for a given keyword. Okay. So why does this matter? Well, it's plain and simple, the main reason is that the more Google's going to get a, get to know about you through your use of Google Plus, then the better chance that you're going to have of having your content appear in their search results. Okay? So here's exactly what I mean by that. There's four ways that Google has now is now integrating their um, there's a lot more ways, but these are the the key ways really. Here's the four key ways that Google is integrating their Google Plus system with their actual search results in Google itself okay so before I go in and go into this I really want to take a step back and explain this whole part of what is the, what are what is the whole goal of Google Plus in in the eyes of Google okay well here's the whole goal okay let's just t let me tell you a little about about Facebook to get some perspective on well uh, prior prior to Google Plus Facebook didn't really know the way that people interact with other people on social media you know on you know in on the internet the only way they understood how let's say if the only way they understood how one person likes a certain piece of content was whether that person linked to the website itself from their own website they didn't have any metrics to measure how does that person like the content as a as just a regular person there was nothing special in that capacity so the whole and if that is confusing that's okay the whole point is this is that um, there the with Google Plus, they now have the same data that Facebook has been gathering for a long time, which is basically user metrics, meaning how does how what does Josh Galvin like? What is Josh Galvin all about? I mean, what is Josh Galvin relevant to? And then, you know, let's just say my let's go to the Tizish brand page as well. You know, what is this what is this brand page named Tizish here? What is this all about? You know, like basically what topics does it talk about? You know what's it, what's it relevant to? That's the key thing you need to understand. So with that being understood, basically on why what Google Plus is all about, and basically it's in a simple nutshell, it's getting, it's helping Google determine, to determine what websites and what people are specifically about. It's tr kind of trying to create what's called an identity to each person on the web. By doing that, well, it's going to basically help Google deliver more accurate search results. Plain and simple. Okay, if someone searches the word real estate. And they know that you know one specific person. I'll cover these shortly. One specific person is more important to the word real estate than others. Well, then basically they want to know that because it's all about creating better relevant search results. Okay, so the whole thing you need to understand in in a general sense about this is that um, the more Google knows about you, the more that Google knows who you know Josh Galvin is and what topics I'm related to. You know, I'm related to WordPress real estate blogs, and I'm related to this website named Tizish. The more they know things like that, and the more they, they more the, the more that they know that this company Tizish talks about these WordPress real estate websites, it talks about SEO and social media. The more they know that, then in a simple sense, is that the more that they're going to be able to put that content in front of people that have you as friends in circles. Okay, plain and simple. Okay, so let me repeat that point. Okay, so why Google Plus matters for SEO is simply that. The more they know about you and any of your brand identities, whether it's you personally or your brand page here, the more they know about you, and then the more that they, they could determine what topics you're related to, the more that they're gonna able that they're gonna be able to put you in front of the face, in front of the search results of people that they know you're connected with based on the topic. Here's what I mean by that. And I'm gonna go over the four ways here anyhow, but here's what I mean in a simple sense. Let's say that, you know, right here. We have Stacia Lou. Let's say Stacia Lou, um, she she has me in one of her circles, which means she's connected to me, and Google knows it. And let's say that Google now Google knows that Josh Galvin ta is talks about WordPress blogs, and Josh Galvin talks about SEO a lot because they look at my postings and they look at all these other items. They know that I have a certain topic about online marketing and so forth that I talk about. Well, let's say Stacia searches on Google for WordPress or WordPress SEO or something like that. Well, what's going to happen in her search results is that she's going to likely be able to have an increased chance of seeing my content and my data, whether my content are my status updates here done in Google search or whether they're the actual website articles that I post on my website specifically on Tizish. Okay? So 
How they do that is basically through these four ways, and I'm going to explain these. In, I'm going to explain these each, each, each individually, so you understand how each of these items will be integrated with Google Plus. And then I'm going to leave you off with this on the three things that you need to do in order to basically set this system up. And what I mean by set the system, what's the word system refer to? The system basically refers to is setting up a system that lets Google determine what topics is Josh Galvin all about? What topics are you all about? You know, what are what are you relevant to? That's the key word here, relevancy. What what topics is Josh Galvin relevant to? What topics is Tizish relevant to? And obviously if for you it'd be your name and your brand page. So after you understand these four things and then you basically I'm gonna leave you with these three steps that what you need to do in order to help the Google determine what you're all about. Because once they know what you're all about, then then in turn that's going to help you with these following four items in Google, which in turn will basically help you get more visibility in their search engines when people search for keywords that Google thinks are related to you, plain and simple. So this is a new form of SEO, all right? If that doesn't make sense, think about it in this context, okay? Um, what Google's doing for the SEO and what Google's doing for their social media is kind of like, like uh, real life, all right? Think of your family or your social circles. Is there one person in your group of friends, your group of friends that may be like you know the loud one? Is there one person that may be like the brainiac? Is there one person that may be the sports fanatic? You know, it, everybody in your social circle has one specific topic that you identify them as. You know, maybe one's like the the medical genius, you know, because he's a doctor or something. Whatever the case is, everyone has that in their friends or in their family circles. Well, basically, that whole concept. How does that work in real life? Let's say I'm. I'm Josh, and let's say I'm, you know, the during this recording, the Super Bowl is coming up this weekend, right? Well, let's say I want to know, I want to know things about football, and I want to talk to one of my friends. Well, I'm not going to call one of my friends, you know, that um, that I know doesn't know anything about sports. I'm going to reach out to my friend that I that I do know some know something about sports. And I'm going to talk to him and ask him questions. So he's going to help supply me the answers because because I've deemed him as more relevant to that subject, right? Basic, you know, social social dynamics. Well, that exact same principle is what Google's trying to do with Google Plus and with their search engine. Okay, so now now you understand that in the basic um, social sense. Here's how it plays out in actual, you know, Google SEO getting more traffic sense. Okay, here's how it plays out. And I gave this example early, but now I think when you hear it a second time, it makes more sense. So let you know, Google by Google knowing what I'm about, they just like I knew my friends all about sports. Google knows that when one of my friends searches for a topic that they know I'm all about, like Stacia, Stacia searches for WordPress, and Google knows I'm all about that, well, in the search results, they're going to help push my content higher in her results because they deem me important to that subject. Since they know I'm connected to her, they know that I'm about this topic that she's searching, they're going to put my content ahead of hers. Okay, so that's the general concept. That's how Google Plus is changing and why it's important for SEO from now onward. Okay, so here's the four key things I know that was a lot of explanation but hopefully that really is ingrained in your thoughts because it's it's really becoming social in SEO is becoming so social in how we're gonna look at it and apply it okay so here's the four ways the first one that you're gonna see is what's called the authorship markup and let's go to type the word off markup in there the first one is what's called authorship markup and here's what that means you see here how there's search results and it has people's faces and if I click on their face it connects me, or I could click on their profile, and it connects, me, it connects me right to their profile. If I click here, for instance, and now I'm right at his profile. Well, that's what this authorship markup is referred to as. All right, that's the first way that they're integrating Google Plus into individual search results. Meaning the following as well. Let's use that same example. Let's say that you know I am friends with one of these people. Well, the likelihood that their their stuff's going to appear higher is going to be better if it's related to the keywords I'm searching. Plain and simple. So now the next one is. Um, Another important thing for you to understand is that they're indexing Google Plus snippets. And when it, instead of the word snippets, they're in status updates, let's say. Here's what that means. So let's go to my personal profile. And you see each of these postings. Each post I've done here, this is a status update. It's a posting I did, and it has a link here. And uh, basically, it's, it's getting indexed, right? So you see these, all these. Here's what that means by getting indexed. Let's take this one here. You see there's a webinar I did back in November and um, it was about how to build a Google Plus brand page I had people interacting well this actual posting since it's public since this posting is public itself meaning it's open to everybody this gets indexed in Google as you can see here you see I search Google I, I type the URL directly just to 
exemplify the point. But nonetheless, you see how this search result appears. My actual my status update that I did on Google appears in the search result itself here. So that itself is the other way that they're integrating Google search. And why does that matter for your SEO? Here's the key. Here's a big one. Okay, so. Um, here's you have to go back to understanding how did Google determine if this is an important what link so this is a link to my website or to the Tizish website you know so there's a link to the Tizish website well how does Google know if this link is worth anything how does Google know if this link should appear in front of people when they search for the topics related to this well how well here's how they know look at the interaction they look at things like are people interacting on here are he, are people hitting plus one on here so the whole point is instead of relying on the old school way like rewind two years three years one year ago where the only way they would know if this link to the website was popular was by having other websites linked to it what now what they have now is are people engaging with it meaning so Josh Galvin posts a link here and let's say I you know there's two comments and there's four people that have plus one it you know that basically give it votes of confidence and let's just say a lot more people now start commenting on it well basically in the eyes of Google they now know that this website link is pretty important because there's a lot of people engaging with it so the whole point is how this helps your SEO is, is in a sense that it's gonna uh, by having by posting links in your Google Plus account and by having people engage with it that's gonna now tell Google hey if this link is posted here and all these people are engaging with it it must be relevant it must be important so it gets gonna help this website article do better in Google for the keywords they deem this is relevant to because they already know people think it's important that's it in a very general sense but it's really important to understand that difference it's no longer just about getting links pointing to your website now it's getting people to engage and interact with your content and actually respond to your content and the more people that respond to it the better it's going to naturally do in google search results when google when people search for keywords related to it all right so that's the that's the other way now the other way the other way it's being integrated that Google Plus is important for SEO is in, in that your friends will see content that's personalized to their search results. And I've kind of touched on this, but here's what I mean by that. So I, I typed in the word real estate. And you see here how it's telling me which one of my friends have shared content and which ones have liked it. Well, basically, the more that my friends, the more that I share content, the more that my friends share content, then the better those will naturally start appearing in Google search results. When, I'm, when I have what's called personalized search on, meaning if you're logged into your Google Plus account and you search Google, well then you're gonna see these personalized results. And you could turn them on and off by looking here. You see here how it turns it on and off? So basically the whole point is though, if you, by having search results that are personalized by what people have shared in your circles, that's basically saying the following. Uh, it's, it's basically, I'm typing the word real estate. And what Google is doing, it's saying it's saying this person has shared this, has liked or shared this website here. So it must be important to me because if one of my friends is sharing something, it must be important. So the whole point is this, how it affects your SEO is when your friends share your content, it's gonna help it appear in front of in front of other people that are your friends that are looking for the same content. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's say you use it as an example. Let's say this person here let's say this person shares one of my articles and then let's say this person here now searches for one of my articles well the fact that this let's say now let's say these two people are friends well the fact that this person shared one of my articles and this person searching for something that's related to one of my articles it's gonna say that hey your friend here shared an article from one of your other friends check it out here so hopefully that makes sense the whole point is social recognition is now being part of the, the factors of how relevant your content is going to be in search. So the whole, what you have to do is get people to start sharing your content in Google and you have to start sharing others as well. All right. So now the next area is how your friends will see your profile when searching for topics related to you. All right. So here's what that means. You see that you've been seeing this here the whole time. I typed in the word real estate and Google is now Google is thinking that hey these two people are related to real estate because because um, based off of the based off of all the stuff I'm talking about here, everything I've been talking about, the whole point of they Google has identified these two people as relevant to this keyword. So now they're saying, "Hey, Josh, while I'm searching for this topic, I might want to check out these people because they're related to the topic I'm searching." So it's another way SEO is changing in that Google's taking the keywords you're searching and they're gonna try to connect you with people that they think are related to that keyword. 
they're going to connect you to people in your own circles and then people that aren't even in your, in your circles as you see here this person I'm already connected with and they're just saying hey this person's connected to you this person I'm not connected with but they're saying I might be able to add them so the whole point is another way Google is going to be affecting your SEO is in that when people search when your friends search for you meaning people that have you in circles when they search for you if it's related to a topic that Google deems you being relevant to well then they're going to probably recommend you here on the side so with all that stuff being said, what is the core important factor between these? Num it's basically getting Google to first figure out what you are all about. Meaning they need to know what Josh Galvin, what topics Josh Galvin is relevant to. Let's take this for example, Cheryl, Cheryl Allen. How do they know that she's related to real estate and why would they put her in my search results here? I have no idea who she is. I've not connected with her yet. She's obviously someone very popular, you know, because she's in a lot of circles and she, you know, and I'm, I see the keywords that they're saying are relevant. But the whole point is how did Google say when Josh Galvin searched the word real estate, let's put this person in front of, in front of him. How did they do that? Well, the way they did that was by first determining what she's all about. They first figured out what Cheryl... Cheryl Allen is all about and I don't know who she is yet I'm gonna obviously end up connecting with her at this point but there they determine what she's all about first so by determining what she's all about first then they could determine whose search results she could appear in front of all right and the way that they do that is by doing the the next following three things which I'm not gonna show you on this video but I'm gonna have connected on video tutorials just make sure that you set up what's called an authorship markup and what that means is set up a system to where Google identify connects you with the articles you post on your website that's the first way and I have a whole separate video tutorial on that one it's really easy to do so basically what you're doing is you're connecting your Google Plus account you're connecting your Google Plus account with your website so that Google knows what every single article you write about so they can help determine your relevancy okay the next area is you want to connect your Google Plus brand page with your website so if this is if this is my brand page what you want to do is connect that directly with your website and the way you do that is by doing the following you gotta put this badge that they that they have there's a Google Plus badge as you will see down here if you put this Google Plus badge that's connected to your brand page that in turn will help Google identify that hey this this brand page tizish is about the topics talked about on this website here okay so it's another way that they're going to determine relevancy and I have a whole separate tutorial on that one and the third way is the following item so you see uh, here I'm on my personal profile you see this plus one section well basically this plus one button is the following plus one button are, is let's go let's go here the plus one button is basically a button that exists on your website that you can plus one that says that you basically like something it's a it's an acknowledgement of liking a piece of content so the whole point is what you can do is start using the plus one button on content that's relevant to what you want Google to think you're relevant about so for me I want Google to know that I'm about WordPress and I want them to know I'm, I'm about Tizish and I'm, I want them to know that I'm about SEO and Google and online marketing all those items so what am I gonna do I'm gonna plus one articles that are all about those items whether they're my articles or not. If I come across an article from a, let's say the popular website Mashable, the social media news website, and it's about and it's about WordPress or it's about the topics that I want Google to know I'm relevant and that I'm, that I'm all about, I'm gonna plus one it. So the whole point is plus, start using the plus one button so that way they know what you're actually relevant to on top of them knowing what web, on top of them knowing the articles that you're actually the author of and on top of them knowing the brand page that your website's connected to. Doing those three things will lay the groundwork for setting up what those these four areas I talked about that, are, that Google's now integrating with their search results like like these items here and these items here and everything that I talked about in the beginning. Okay, So if this wasn't fully clear, now I, I recommend you watch this video one more time to make full sense of it because it's really just spinning your perspective on how SEO is changing and really it's just like a, it's just basically becoming very like how real social life is you know how how are your social circles in real life and how do, how's that relevance it's becoming more like that alright and check out the tutorials on setting up these items okay it's really important that you do those these are the first crucial things of letting Google know what you're all about which will then in turn help these alright so that's everything if you have any questions 
go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see it spelled there, and ask me there. Alrighty, well, good luck. Take care.